What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be discussing some new products from the ColourPop No Filter line, mainly the ColourPop No Filter foundation. I asked you guys on Instagram if you wanted this to be a first impressions or more of a thorough review, and most of you guys said a thorough review, which I'm glad you guys did. I personally suck at first impressions, especially with foundation. I can really jump back and forth a couple of times with my opinions on foundations, so I definitely like to wear them a couple of times, really put them to the test with different primers and concealers and all of that. So I do have the foundation and the translucent powder and I will be using the no filter concealers as well. But before I start applying that to my face, I just wanted to read kind of what the website says about this foundation. So it says, our full coverage natural matte foundation delivers flawless looking skin from day to night. It's oil free, lightweight, blends smoothly, and creates the coverage you want. It was developed with innovative soft blurring pigments to deliver true color while looking and feeling natural. And then it also mentions that it has a lockable pump which you just twist to open or twist back to lock so that it doesn't pump out product. So it comes in very similar glass packaging to like their liquid highlighters and all of their other stuff. And I purchased the shade Light 55. If I would have just gone off the swatches on the website, I would have gone lighter, but because Kathleen Lights tried out the foundation on her channel and used the shade 65, it kind of made me worried that the other shades were going to be too light, which I was right. This shade turned out to be a perfect match to my skin tone. So I'm just gonna dot this all over and I haven't noticed it oxidize at all either because I know their concealer dries down darker than it is in the tube but I haven't noticed the foundation do that. So I'm gonna blend this in with my Real Techniques sponge. You can use a brush. The sponge just gives me a faster application and it's more even. But one thing I did notice is Unlike most foundations, this foundation, even if you use a brush, it's very similar application to a sponge. Like, there's not much difference in coverage or in finish when you use a brush. And as you can see, this is applying pretty full coverage. Like, it's covering up my blemishes and my redness, and I'm using about two full pumps for my entire face. Okay, so here's the foundation on, and as you can tell, it's more of a soft matte, looks very much like skin, and I feel like it's medium to full coverage, like it covers up my blemishes, but somehow it still lets my freckles peek through, and it just stays looking very natural. I will say it does get dewier as the day goes on, so if you have very oily skin, I don't feel like this has super oil control, but if you were to use a mattifying primer, and like some setting powder on top, it would definitely hold up. I really like how this foundation looks with Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I feel like they pair very well and if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know I have like a love-hate relationship with that concealer. Sometimes it just doesn't work at all or it looks too cakey or it likes to separate under the eyes when your eyes water, but it works very well paired with this foundation. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to be using the ColourPop concealers. I picked up a light shade for under my eyes and then a darker shade to try some contouring. And I did review these concealers a long time ago and they are not my favorite thing. I know they work for a lot of people, but I feel like I just can't get them to work for me for some reason. I don't think that these are full coverage. They're more medium coverage, natural. And I love, love, love how they blend out because they are so creamy and blend out so quickly. I just hate how it looks on my skin. And no matter what I do, it always creases under my eyes and accentuates the fine lines under my eyes. And I don't know what shade this one is because the sticker fell off, but the contour one is dark 46 and it is a little bit warmer toned so I'm not going to use too much. To set my concealer, I did buy their translucent powder, and when it came, this was so much smaller than I imagined. I mean, I know their stuff is very affordable, and they try to make it the best quality for your buck. I just guess I didn't expect it to be this small. For reference, this is my Cody Airspun powder that's $6 at Walmart, and this is the ColourPop one. So you get about 0.3 of an ounce in this, and you get 2.3 ounces in the Cody Airspun, which is $6 at Walmart and this one is $9. So definitely not a huge amount of product. And I don't know if I forgot to mention, but the foundation is 12 and then the powder is nine. And I'm just gonna pat out the under eye. So 
So I went ahead and set my entire face with that powder and I do like it. I feel like it makes your face look airbrushed. It doesn't have flashback in photos. It's very finely milled and you can really pack it on without it looking too powdery or cakey. And even though I feel like this is a very small amount, I think it will last me a good amount of time. So it's definitely not a bad product. And now that my whole face is set, you can also see the final color of the foundation. As you can see, it hasn't really oxidized and it does match my skin pretty well. So I would definitely suggest going darker than what you think from the website swatches or try checking on Instagram and see if people have done swatches like just a natural lighting on their arms with the product dry. Or if you have YouTubers that you watch that have a similar skin tone as yours, you can always check which one they end up using. That's kind of what I did with Kathleen Lights. So I'm actually going to finish up my face on camera just using some more ColourPop products. I'm going to take this ColourPop pressed powder bronzer. I don't know which shade this is, but I will put it in the description box. But I really like this shade because it's not too orange, so I can use it to define my face, but also add some color. Also, they did come out with pressed powders, but I didn't grab one because I never use pressed powders. But if you have oily skin and you like to carry a compact to like touch up your face throughout the day, then you might like that product. And they have multiple shades as well. The translucent powder comes in a couple different shades. They have like a dark and a banana powder and then this translucent one. And the foundation I believe comes in 42 shades, which for a first foundation launch, that is incredible. It's really awesome to see, especially when it's an affordable brand that comes out with such a huge shade range. That kind of sets the standard for high-end brands. You have no excuse to be slacking. For blush, I'm going to use this Super Shock Cheek in between the sheets, and I don't know if they sell these anymore. I know they don't sell the Super Shock Cheek bronzers, which I don't know why not, because those were amazing, but I'm not positive about the blushes. And I like to just pat it on with a stippling brush. I found that to be the easiest way to apply it. And then for highlight, I'm going to use another Super Shock Cheek product in Stole the Show, and I'm just going to dip my sponge and dot that along the high points of my face. I'm also going to use that on my inner corner highlight. Also, I've had these Super Shock Cheek products for at least a year, if not two years, and they still haven't dried out. Like, if you keep them shut, they keep that same creamy, bouncy consistency, so they definitely last you a while. To finish up the eyes, I'm going to go into the Kathleen Lights Dream Street palette, and I'm going to be taking this burnt brown shade right along the lower lash line. For lips, I'm going to use the ColourPop Luxe Lipstick in the shade Appy. It's like my perfect nude shade. I know I used to have a ColourPop setting spray, but I'm pretty sure I used all of that up, so I'm just going to go in with my Morphe setting spray. I am dreading the day that this runs out because this is like the finest mist. I need to stock up on like 10 of those. Okay, so here's the finished look. I definitely love the foundation. I think it lives up to the no filter name. It has great coverage. It looks very natural on the skin. It doesn't accentuate any pores or fine lines. It's very blurring. The concealer on the other hand, I don't feel the same way about. Like I feel like it's very accentuating of all the lines. It doesn't have great coverage. I just, I've given it so many shots that I can't, I can't with that one. The powder is also great. I think it pairs very well with this foundation and it's all super affordable, which is great. So yeah, I don't know if I forgot to mention anything, but if you have a specific question that I forgot to address, just leave it in the comments and I'll answer it. I'll definitely be using this in my day-to-day -day because it's a great foundation. Oh, that's right. I forgot to mention how long it wears. So I'm not going to do a wear test in this video just because it's already 7 p.m. when I'm filming, but this does wear great on me for the entire day. Like usually by the time I've worn it for six hours at the end of my work day, I'll get a little bit of shine in these areas where I get a little bit oily in the summer. But the nice thing is it just gets dewy there. It doesn't like separate. So it's an easy fix. You just either blot it or use some setting powder on top to touch it up. But it definitely wears very well on my skin type. I can wear it for 10 hours and it'll last me great, especially when I pair it with the Tarte Shape Tape. Okay, now I think that was everything. So as always, leave your requests down below for future videos. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and subscribe on YouTube. 
and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.